So I went for a trip in the Bunnings uh, earlier today and uh, as you can see that's my uh, multi-tool in my hand just there. Um, that there is the AG multi-tool which is pretty much the same thing. Um, I was just investigating what they are. Um, if you have a look here you can see the drive mechanism is exactly the same. They're both rubber coated uh, shafts there and they both have the same clamp arrangements that uh, lock the tool heads in place with the base unit. That there is my uh, Roby head sitting on top of the AG part. Seems to fit quite nicely. And for giggles, that's the uh, AG part sitting on top of my Roby tool. And that is the range of stuff you can add to it. That's expensive. $289 for the kit versus I think it's well, 119 for the Roby gear. That is my finished product. Looks pretty ghetto. G'day. G'day. Um, I've been buying the Roby tools for a very long time. I've actually got a large amount of them. Um, I've got some there, got some in there, there's more in there, the charger, more other, more tools, they all use the 18 volt system. Um, I actually purchased a little while ago, um, when I was starting to collect these originally, I went to cash converters and bought a kit um, that was on really cheap. Uh, came with a couple of batteries, a couple of chargers, came with this multi-tool thing as well as drill and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, um, I don't like the multi-tools. Um, I actually find them to be rather annoying because maybe it's just me, but every time I try and use them, the uh, little head attachment comes loose, which means it stops working. and You have to tighten it up and all that sort of thing. So this has been sitting in my drawer doing nothing pretty much since I've had it. Um, Normally I wouldn't have bought one, except, yeah, as I said, it was it came with the kit of the other stuff anyway. Um, but I was having a bit of a play with it last night, and I kind of realised that this head wasn't, like, firmly attached. Um, I also noticed that there's a forward and reverse switch, and I'm sitting there wondering, why is there a forward and reverse switch on a device that reciprocates backwards and forwards, or osculates backwards and forwards? And it got me thinking. Um, I could see, you know, a couple of little grabby points here, but there's nothing here. But if you squeeze it, you can actually kind of feel like it moves. So it got me thinking a bit more. Because um, I'm not using it. I, I heard mention that these can be replaced with the AG parts. Um, so I got a little knife to it. And I made a little incision on either side, and I discovered, that, oops, careful, that if I squeeze the sides, the head comes off. And thinking, okay, that's pretty cool. And I was having a bit of a poke around, trying to find out, because I noticed the switch doesn't work um, when the head's not in. I noticed that there's a small pin catch just in here. Uh, that gets pressed in. So I was having a look underneath it and going, okay, there's four studs, which means this can actually go on sideways. And that's not in the manual. Um, so you can actually use it, say, I'm left handed, so I'd use it left handed like that. But then I've done a bit more research. Uh, apparently, AG sell heads for their multi tools. Um, and what I've actually discovered, it's a bit hard for me to find the original product on Bunny's website, but these multi-tools, um, that's the 12 volt, that's that one there. So that's the 18 volt one. So if I bring him up, okay, come on website. This head assembly here, um, the whole unit is $189 to purchase from AEG. Now, I was thinking, okay, that's pretty cool, because um, the AEG stuff has a bunch of different products, 
that you can add on to it, say the uh, impact driver, uh, ratchet attachment, the reciprocating saw, which I think is pretty mad. Uh, especially if you look at the price of the actual attachments, I mean, you're looking, what's that? Um, the right angle drill is $69. Um, and yeah, bait, I found, oh, I discovered all this stuff fits, um, which is pretty cool because uh, the uh, Ryobi skin uh, is 119 and aside from the fact that it's missing the small incisions just in here, the layer to open it up and change it, um, you know, for the same sort of price, if you're talking... I mean, if you've already got the AEG gear, you might as well stick with it, but I don't. I've got all the uh, Ryobi stuff, and turn, you know, it all comes out of the same factory and all that sort of stuff anyway. But from $189 to, um, oh, come on, to $119, big price difference. Now, the batteries are the same. They're, they're the same cells, they're the same circuitry and everything. They're just a different connector. Um, so you're not getting real, any sort of performance loss. Well, I can't see any in it anyway. Um, but you can add, you know, say the, res the reciprocating saw here for $79 um, to your existing Roby product and save yourself a fortune. Um, now, there's something else because Roby's got a, actually, do sell um, right angle. Let's see if we can uh, learn to type. The right angle bit here is $89 just on its own, um, but you can get the $69 one if you've already got the other bits, which then allows you to use, um, you know, the drill bit, the um, the little jigsaw head. Then that'd be pretty mad too, I reckon. Um, but yeah, it all kind of fits. Now I thought that was kind of bizarre. See, they, they don't advertise this stuff. Um, that it works this way. The Australian product doesn't have the um, the the little cutout moulds in the side, but you just get a small slit with a with just a kitchen knife um, or a Stanley or something, and it all changes in. But there, yeah, pretty mad. Now I can be hard to do one handed, but so I can get that device there. I got my right angle attachment, which I can put in any which way I want. You just clip straight on there, and then you got yourself. Yeah, it's not the fastest, but it seems to get the job done. Um, but it allows me to use all of that, and all of that, and all of that with this. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. You've got the you got the full row, you know, your Ryobi range, which has all your bits and pieces, and then you've got, you know. It's like bonus fries. You, 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 you got the full range up to this thing, and then you've got all the other range for this stuff here that goes on as well. It's, it's quite exciting. Um, and it, it, it's cheaper to get the Ryobi gear um, and then convert it over than it is to go the AEG stuff, which, from what I can gather, it doesn't really give you much of a benefit um, in the AEG stuff, except the warranty. Um, the AEG stuff does have... Uh, is it three years um, or six years extended if you fill in their online registration thing? Um, but you know, for knocking around the house and that sort of thing, you sort of can't go wrong with the Ryobi stuff. Um, but yeah, I, it, it's just a shame that none of this stuff is mentioned. Um, there's no links or anything to it um, that you can use the AG stuff on the Ryobi tool. But I don't know, I thought it was kind of interesting, I thought I'd show you this anyway.